Hello, and this is the Pen Quite Stables Barn Tour. Um, and also, I'm coming out with coming out with a new series called Pen Quite Stables, <laughs> uh, and series two. Um, if you, I would probably recommend watching series one first because, um, it's like one year later. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and um, it's kind of outdated the other one because I did it about a year and a half ago. Um, probably two years now. Um, and it's, uh, I didn't really know much about filming then, because it was, like, my first thing that I'd done. And I didn't know how to get music and stuff. So it's really outdated, um, but, yeah, still. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start right here, and this is my temporary sign that I made. I made it really quickly before I had, before I had to go out to the craft fair. Um, so this is, it says, welcome to Penquite Stables, have a lovely time. And I ripped out, I ripped off the E on time. <laughs> it's fine, though. And then we have a horse that represents horses here, a foal that represents foals here, and then a donkey that represents other animals here. So we're going to start with the tack room here. So, yeah. There's not much tack in... Sorry, my finger's in the way. There's not much tack in there because lots of people are riding. But this is Algana, and she's coming to get her tack. That's Algana. Um, I got her off eBay, so thank you to the person that put her off eBay. On eBay, I got her with... Um, her... I named her Sam, and then Percy, and then I got it with that tack, and then Jazz. That's Jazz, and the rug that Jazz is wearing. So thank you for putting that on eBay and sending it so fast if you're watching this video. So yeah, and then this is a mini tack room that I made, so there's spare fencing. Um, it's really cool, it's made out of a box. I might actually do a tutorial on that. So it, it, the name of it will be Mini Tack Room. Simple to make or something like that. <laughs> Just put mini tack room in. Um, the search box. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a wheel for a trailer, spare fence pieces, and martingales, bridle saddles. So we're going to go over here, and then this is Dude, the trap and the stallion. And then in the stable next to him, this is Roddy, the nav strapper mare. Then we have Ali and Aurora. And they're tacking up their horses to go out on a hack. They're going to do a, hack, a really long hack all afternoon. And these are, this is Spartan and Starlight. And they're both Tennessee Walker Geldings. So then we're going to go over here. And this is like the track that everyone races on. So this is Jack and Lou, the two Western people. Jack's riding his uh, Appaloosa Stallion Sprinkles. And Lou is riding her... Western Quarter Horse, Sammy. Let me go over here, and this is like my cow area, it's really cool. So we have Constance and her calf, Caramel, and their friend, Gorinda. Gorinda's really skinny, so um, sometimes they put her into the horse paddock to go and eat some grass. So I'll move this. I have a light to help me, because some places in my room are really dark. Um... Yeah, so this is quite a new addition as well. This uh, is the pens. So we have Baby, the Pento Mare, in this one. And the untrained horse, who no one is allowed to go near, uh, the Pento Stallion, v Viva. Then we have the paddock, and there's, like, water and hay and carrots and apples and stuff. We have Gareth, the pelican. He normally goes, like, up here. <laughs> up here. Uh, then we have some hay, and then we have Misty, the Hanoverian Stallion. Then we have, like, a garden area and the chickens and the cow and Hetty the cow there. <laughs> then we have Bean and Nosy, uh, their mother and foal. I turned Bean to a girl and I made their breed be the English thoroughbred cross with a Norwegian foal because that's the breed of my horse toad. Then we have Socks, the, um, uh, the Trapner foal, and she's just hanging out with Bean and Nosy because her mum is um, being ridden like groomed and stuff then we have jazz who i don't know the breed of so comment down below if you know her breed um and tell me but for now she's just a halfling mare oh it's actually jasmine but yeah then we have the albertiki mare and her name is doris then we have a hanoverian mare and her name is stripe then we have bailey the tennessee walker um yearling and his boy and his mum's being ridden that's his mum <laughs> uh, and then we have um, Amber and Gus, and they're both frauds, uh, mare and foal. 
And then we have the Halflinger Philly. I think it's Philly, I'm not sure. Um, Halflinger Philly Mickey. Or Minnie, I'm kind of still deciding between the two. <clears throat> then we have Pumpkin, and he's the Fraud Stallion. He's, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have um, Luna and Moon, the two Tinkers. Or Gypsy Van, it depends. <laughs> then we have Blaze, and I turned him into the Frisian Vol instead of the Lipizzaner Vol. Then this is Duchess, the Pento Mare. And this is Dujan, the Arabian Stallion. Then this is Silky, the Frisian Mare. He's not his mum, by the way, I have another Frisian Mare. Then, coming over to here, we have Chanty who is the Tennessee Walker mare and the mum of Bailey, and her owner, Serena, who's just about to ride her. And this is one of the very first hair collars that I made. Well, actually, my mum made it, and it's really cool. Then this is Helen, and she is just about to do some chores on the yard. Um, she came with that set, and that set, not that set, that set. And also, she is the niece of Jan, who is the co-owner of the yard with her husband, John. And this is Seaweed and Roger's stable, and that is Roger. And this is Seaweed. They're both Arabians. And this is Izzy, who is just untacking her in the new cross ties. And then we have her grooming kit and her hair collar down there. And then her bridle. And her hair collar is attached to this. It's like a sticky hook thing, they're really cool. Then this is the, la la the lady, no. and then this is Lady, the Clydesdale mare. And then this is Sasha, and she's just brushing her. And she has her new grooming kit, it's really cool, my first hoof pick. Oh. <laughs> and then we have some hair collars down here, and Cisco's rug. And this is Cisco, the English thoroughbred. And Vanessa's just leading her, walking her around because she's new. And when you ride her, you have to ride her in the arena. Um, and you also, you have to... Um, you're only allowed to walk them because if you, you, because if you do any more than a walk with her, she bolts off, and you can't stop her from galloping. <laughs> then we have Feather, Hetty, sorry, yeah, no Feather, yeah, and she is the German Shepherd mum, I guess, female. Then this is Twinkle Toes, and he's the Dalmatian male. Then his wife uh, Pepper, who is the Golden Retriever. Then this is Skylar, and she's just about to go and get a grooming kit and groom one of these horses. And we have Jan here, who's the co-owner of the R with her husband, John. Then we have Lilith, who's John, who's John and Jan's... And it is, he's their daughter as well, and so is Lilith. And so is Lou. And this is Lilith riding her Icelandic mare, um, Inca. Um, and then this is the feed room. Just off the side of the cross ties. And then this is like a tiny thing that I put together in about five seconds. But it's for the newborn puppies and cats and stuff. And this is Rain, who is the German Shepherd puppy. And then this is Bonnie, who is the Golden Retriever puppy. Then we have Lucy, and she's just about to go and feed all the horses Haylage. She's done Percy's. And this is Percy. <laughs> the funny story about Percy. I know he's actually a girl, but I already named him before I decided, and I really liked the name before I actually thought it was a girl. So he's a girl. And he's Al Gala's horse. And then Al Gala has a grooming kit. And this is Serena's tack. She's just riding her horse, so she got it already. And this is Serena's other horse, um, Blake or Princess Lively, after my favourite actress, Blake Lively. Then we have Melissa's tack and some carriages for Crunch, the Shetland pony. Then we have, I think it's the Fella Bella, the Fella Bella Stallion Spot, who was one of my very first horses. Then we have Twinkle, Tinkle and Trinkle the goats. <laughs> um, and then this is Eve and she's the Andalusian mare, she's Melissa's horse. Then this is another one of Melissa's horse horses and her name is majesty and she's the hanoverian mare she's very beautiful she looks like her but i think she's the lipizzana mare if i'm wrong please comment down below with her breed her name is blake or princess lively but just put blake <laughs> then this is guinness and she is the donkey 
Then this is Melissa with her horse, the Trackner mare, Bay Beauty. And she's just doing up her rug. Then we have Mary. And she is riding Charlotte. And she's just untacking her horse that she might lease or loan. Um, she's just taking her on a trial. And having a few lessons with her and riding her on hacks and stuff. And her name's Charlotte. She's the Frisian mare. Then going into the main barn. I might need my light with this because it's a bit dark in here. Hang on, let me get it. Okay, here we go. Um, so in here is Susan. Um, and she is looking after her quarter horse mare, Trixie. Then we have the halflinger mare. And her name is Calypso. Then we have Ruby, the Arabian mare, and the Lipizzana mare, Blue. Then this is then then <laughs> then this is Solomon, the Icelandic stallion. Sorry, just let me move my light without knocking everything over. <laughs> and then over here is one of our barns, and this is Toad, and this he's named after my horse because he looks exactly like my horse. Um, I'll show you a photo of him in a second. Um, and he is the, I changed him from the Albertiki Stallion to the Thoroughbred cro cross with, English Thoroughbred cross with Norwegian Ford. Then this is Storm, my very first slash horse, and he is the Persian Stallion. Then moving back, oh yes, before I forget, this is our arena. I made it bigger about on Saturday and it's Monday today. So like you can take this off and on and off now. And we have just some barrels and a cow statue. So yeah, and then moving over to our last piece. This is the house. And we have Patch, Penny and Ginger and their mum Presley. And then John, who's not very well today. And he's the owner of the yard. Let me get him out. He's John's husband. He's the best. Let me put him back. So thank you very, 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 very much for watching my barn tour. It was quite a long one. So now I'm going to give you a quick overview. It's all on a long line, so it's my bedroom. And this is under my bed. And then I'm going to show you a picture of my horse. It's a toad just covering my face. Hang on, I need to get the camera in the other grip. This is Toad. He is a Norwegian frog crossed with a thoroughbred. And this is another one. When he lay down in the field. So thank you very much for watching my barn tour again. Um, yeah. And all the breeds that I don't know, just comment down below. You don't have to. So thank you very much for watching my barn tour. And I'll see you in Pegwise Stable Season 2 with my next Christmas barn tour. I'm planning to do a Christmas barn tour. Bye.